I was five years old when I declared I was an artist. Um, I had always, I loved creating. Um, fortunately, I was in a family of creative individuals. There were quilt makers and uh, my father was a painter. He actually uh, studied art at Texas Southern University with uh, John T. Biggers. And um, there were storytellers and writers and poets. So I was around creativity all the time and it, I was encouraged to create. The idea that, you know, you reach this enlightenment in, in the work, the idea that you can go into this space and reach an understanding that um, you don't ordinary, that you may not ordinarily be able to have. And so the work is really, really focused on, um, reaching that point of understanding. Tell us a little bit about star children. Um, the outward gaze of those figures is really mesmerizing. I find myself looking deeply, trying to figure out what's in their soul. I mean, it really, really draws you in. And I think that's what attracted me to the models. Mm. So, so in order to tell you about that piece, I have to tell you about these two beautiful young ladies. Um, I was at an exhibition, a friend of mine was having an exhibition and I was there and this young girl walks in and she, she her spirit was just, I think it came in before she did walk mm. through the door and she was just such a beautiful, beautiful soul, just a, a beautiful, intelligent young lady. And I asked her mother if, she, if would it be okay if I asked her to model for me? And it was really interesting because I didn't know she had a sister at the time, but the two figures are sisters and oh, they are wow. so close. And if you watch them on social media and you see them together, it's almost like they're completing each other's sentences. Mm -hmm. And they just had this cosmic relationship about them that you really, I mean, you, you're in amazement to watch them when they came to the studio and how they completed each other. Talk a little bit about Black Moon and uh, the figure that's holding the moon and the bird in its hand. Yes, so um, I met another young lady who um, I asked to model for me. And I literally, I don't ever know who my models are going to be and it's just individuals that I see and for some one reason or another they capture me and so the idea that um the the black moon this this transition it's it's a moon that appears two full moons within a, a cycle mm -hmm. and where there's usually where there's normally one so the idea of the moon being a symbol for the female and the bird being a symbol for the human spirit in my work and the fact that she's holding this and it's almost like an offering that that she's mm. offering this to the world 